If you have the same group of people you'll be frequently sending email messages to, like when you click on the two button, you're like, okay, it's Barney Five, well, let's double click on Harry Potter, double click on Carrie, Mr. Humphreys, scroll through, find other people, and you're spending all this time, and you click OK, and you're like, oh, whew, that's the first email message. I'll be sending one off to the same group later tonight and then tomorrow. Instead, you can create what's called a contact group. That way, it's a one-time setup. You can add all the people that you frequently send these email messages to, like my homies, as it were, that you can just go ahead and type in the name of that group, and it includes everybody who you added to that group. Doesn't that sound a lot more efficient? Of course it does. Well, at least for me. Let's go ahead and close out of here and create this contact group. To do that, come up here on the Home tab, go to the New Group, click on the New Items drop-down arrow, go down to More Items, and it's right there, Contact Group. Go ahead and click on it. There we go. So what's the name of your group? Is it Emergency Contacts, where it includes everybody? Or are they your homies, like people whom I hang out with, that, hey, we got a new amusement park downtown, let's go ahead and check it out. In any case, once you have the name for your group, come up here in the Members group to add your members. Click on the drop-down arrow, and you can add them one of three ways. You can either add them from your Outlook contacts, or from the address book, like the global address list, if you're connected to an exchange server, or if they're not in your contacts or in the address book, you can go ahead and create them from scratch. Let's do the Outlook contacts. And Barney 5, and then let's go ahead and do carry, double click, click OK. They're added. Click on the drop down arrow from the address book, click on it, and then you can, of course, you know, click on the drop down arrow. I'm not connected to the Exchange server, no global address list. Let's go ahead and close out here. Click on the drop down arrow, and how about we create one from scratch? Now you get the option down below, it's by default, where when you type in a name and their email address, it's going to add it to the contacts automatically. So if I do Manny Mammoth, and we'll have him at, and then once I click OK, adds it to my contacts. So click OK, and I'm like, oh, I made a mistake. I don't actually want Manny in there. Go ahead and select him. You can come up here to the members group, click on remove, and he's gone. But because I add him to my contacts, when I click on add members, I can go down to, well, my Outlook contacts, and then find Manny right there, double click, and bring him back in. You should never leave the homies group. And then when I'm done, come up here, click Save and Close, and that's it. Now, when I go ahead and double-click in the blank area to create a new email message, instead of typing in all those names, I can just go ahead and type in the name of the group, H-O, there you go, homies, hit the Tab key, and it pulls in everybody who belongs to that group. Now, of course, let me go ahead and delete that. You can click on the Two button, and there's the group with the two dudes, because in the contact group, you can have two or more people there. Well, you can have one, but, you know, what's the point? In any case, you can go ahead and double-click to add it down below in the To field, or select the Carbon Copy, and then with the highlighted, click on Carbon Copy, but let's do the To field, and then click OK. And then you get this little plus sign that if you want to exclude somebody from this group, from this message you're sending out where maybe it doesn't apply to everybody in the group, just almost everybody except for maybe one person, click on it. It warns you that it's going to expand it. And once it expands, it can't be collapsed again. Okay. So there we go. We can say, well, okay, Manny, we really shouldn't include him in this one. And I'm able to remove whom I please, but still keep him as part of the group for future emails. And then that's it. Go ahead and click send, and away it goes. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.